So before I enter the room, I'm going to check for scene safety so I can see that there are no wires or spillages on the floor that may cause any slips or drips. I'm going to draw the curtains and close the door to provide privacy for my patient. Before approaching my patient, I'm going to do hand hygiene according to WHO standards. So I'm going to apply gel on my hands and I'm going to rub palm to palm, back of the hands, back of the hands, fingers interlaced, fingers interlock, thumbs in rotational motion, fingertips, fingertips, and allow the air dry for 20 to 30 seconds. Now that my hands are dry, I'm ready to approach my patient. So good afternoon. Is it Lindsay? Yes, that's it. Hi, Lindsay. My name is Aya. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be your nurse today. Um, and for today, I'm here so that I can assess for your cannula and give you an IV flush. Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's okay. Yes, perfect. Before I proceed, I just want to check if I'm with the correct patient. So, will you be able to tell me your name and date of birth as I check your wristband and my documentation, please? My name is Lindsay Lohan, post of post 1988. Perfect. I can confirm that. And your MRI number is 12345678X. I can confirm that I am with the correct patient. Um, Lindsay, I don't see you wearing a red wristband at all, but will you be able to tell me if you're allergic to any food or drug? No allergies. Perfect. So I can confirm that it's the same in my documentation too. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to assess your cannula and do a cannula flush for you. Mm -hmm. But before I do that, um, allow me to read the prescription out, okay? Okay. Perfect. So first, I'm going to check all of the pages contain the same address or graph. Yes, so I can confirm that all of the address graphs are the same. So I'm going to proceed to read. This is prescription chart for Lindsay Lohan, female, with hospital number 1234567X, date of birth 1-1-1998, address 123 Northampton Way, NL1 45J. Admission date on time is today, July 18, 2023, at 11 o'clock, Ward 1 Surgical. So the prescriber's name um, are all completed here. There's a prescriber for Dr. T. Smith with GMC, bleep, and signature noted here as well. There, um, for the details of people administering medication, it's been completely filled in by Ryan Fisher with initial signature and base noted. You said that you had no known allergies and that's reflected there, and that's also signed by Dr. Ata. Today, 18th of July, 2023. We're gonna proceed to the next page. There are no once and only stat doses. So I'm gonna move on to the next one. No prescribed oxygen, no PRN, no antimicrobials noted. Moving on to the next one, regular medications, there's only one. So the medication for you is a 0.9 normal saline. It's dated um, to start today, um, 18th of July, 2023, with a dose 5 mils and frequency 12 hourly, intravenously for 7 days. Um, the start date is today, um, 18th of July, 2023, and finished in 7 days. That has been signed um, and prescribed by Dr. T. Smith with signature and date number there. So I can confirm that the prescription is valid, signed, and legible. It was last given to you at midnight by Mr. R. Fisher, and it's due at my time, which is 12 o'clock today. Is that fine with you? Yes. So I'll just check the other pages. No intravenous fluid therapy and um, no omitted drugs. So I can summarize it. I'm only going to give you your um, intravenous flush. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. So meanwhile, I'm going to prepare all of my materials um, in the other room. Um, please don't hesitate to give me a buzz. Um, you can make use of the call bell beside me. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. So before preparing my equipment, I must ensure that I do my hand hygiene after leaving the patient's bedside and that I do it before preparing all of the, the things that I need. So I'm going to start with doing hand hygiene according to WHO standards, applying gel on my hands, rubbing palm to palm. Back of the hands, back of the hands, fingers interlaced, fingers interlock, thumbs in rotational motion, fingertips, fingertips, and allow to dry for 20 to 30 seconds. Now I'm ready to don my PPE, starting with my apron and my clean gloves. I must ensure to have my prescription nearby so that it's ready for me to refer to when I need to check my IV flush. So Mrs. Sesser, May I please know if my tray is disposable or reusable? Reusable. So because it is reusable, may I please know if it's been clean in the last 24 hours? Yes. Yes. If it wasn't clean, I would have clean, uh, cleaned it rather with a canal wipe. Um, cleaning it from the further side to the near side for 30 seconds and allowing it to dry for 30 seconds. But now that it's been mentioned it's clean, so it's clean, dry and intact, so I'm happy to use that. And I will need a 
0.9 normal saline flush as prescribed. So it comes in a dry and intact packaging. Um, the flush has no discoloration. It expires on the 2025th of November, so I'm happy to use that. I'm just going to pre-open this, ready for going to the patient, and I'm going to place it in my reusable tray. I will also need two pieces of um, Clinel wipes, which come in a clean and dry and intact packaging with expiry date of um, 2027 November. I'm happy to use them. One for cleaning the port before flushing and one for cleaning the port after flushing for best practice. Now I'm ready to approach my patient. Right, hello, Lindsay, I'm back. I've got all of my equipment with me. Um, before I proceed to check your cannula and give you your flush, I just want to make sure that I'm with a correct patient. Mm -hmm. So will you be please um, able to tell me your name and date of birth as I check your span and my documentation? My name is Lindsay Lohan, mm -hmm. first of first, 1988. Right, I can confirm that. And your MRN number is 1234567X. I can confirm that I am with a correct patient. So um, I was saying earlier, um, I'm going to need to check your cannula. So what I did is I closed the doors and I've drawn the curtains to provide you with privacy. Okay, are you able to show me your cannula and we can proceed to do your um, mm -hmm. um, cannula check? Yes. yes, okay. So, right. Um, is there um, any pain at all at the minute? No, no pain. Perfect. So you've mentioned there's no pain. I don't see any redness. I'm going to um, touch it for a little bit, okay? So um, I can see there's no edema, there's no palpable venous cord, and I can see that your skin is warm to touch, but there are no signs of pyrex shock. So I'm happy with that. For me, after observing that, your um, VIP or vision, visual infusion phlebitis cord is zero, which means your cannula is healthy. There's no signs of phlebitis. We can continue to use it and just observe your cannula. Are you happy with that? Perfect. So, because I've touched your cannula side, I'm just going to dispose of my gloves before proceeding to give you the flush. Okay? So, I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to do hand hygiene. So, palm to palm. The hands. Fingers interlaced. Fingers interlocked. Thumbs. Tips of the fingers. And allow it to dry for 20 to 30 seconds before putting on a new pair of gloves. So first, I'm going to need to clean the port, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to clean it with my Clinel wipe. I'm going to open it completely. And I'm going to reach for the cannula port, okay? So I'm going to clean it for 30 seconds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. And I'm going to bend my Clinel wipe. Now, since I pre-opened this, it's just easy for me. To remove the cap okay and expel the air that is there right so now that it's dry I'm going to connect it using um, a septic non-touch technique right okay I'm going to unlock the clamp right before I proceed to flushing um, I want to let you know as well that, that there are um, some side effects that you might experience so one is redness around the side, a little bit of pain, and sometimes it's irritation. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't worry about it because um, when we've assessed your cannula, it's actually quite healthy. Mm -hmm. But in case you do feel them, please let me know. Okay, okay so I'm still um, okay to flush? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to flush it using a push-pause method, mm -hmm. right? So I'm going to start, push, pause, push, pause. Do you feel any discomfort? No, I'm okay. Right, so I'm going to continue, push, pause push pause perfect well done so that's all of the flush done thank you for your cooperation so before i leave you i'm just going to clean the port again for 30 seconds so one two three and i'm going to clamp that and ready and secure for the next use okay there you go Thank you so much, Lindsay. So if you don't have any queries for me, please don't hesitate to give me a buzz. I'll just be in the next room documenting what um, I've given you, okay? Okay. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to dispose of my equipment um, in the proper waste bin, and I'm going to proceed to document. And proceed to do hand hygiene according to WHO standards. Okay, now that my hands are dry, allow them to dry for 20 to 30 seconds, I am going to proceed to documenting. 
So I'm first going to begin with the first page with my candidate name. And then I'm going to proceed to the second page for the details of person administering medication. And then I'm going to document for my normal saline. Now that I've done with my documentation, my assessor, I'm ready to close my station by performing hand hygiene.